Alright, so the tool that I'd like to talk to you about today is called Tumble Books. And just like all of our other library tools, we're going to get there by going to the library homepage. So we're going to go to SYCSD.org. We're going to go up here to Schools, through Friendship Elementary, School Library, and we're going to click here on the link for the Destiny Library Catalog. And that brings us here to our library homepage. Now, today we're going to look at the link under Electronic Books. We're going to look at the link here called Tumble Books. So we'll click right here on Tumble Books, and this brings us to the Tumble Book eBook Library. And the Tumble Book Library is um, a collection of online, animated, narrated picture books that help kids experience the joy of online reading. And the Friendship Library pays for an annual subscription to the um, online library collection that you see here. So you can access any of the books that are in the Tumble Book Library for free, as long as you navigate to the site through the Friendship Library homepage, which we just did. So you can see here that the Tumble Book Library includes storybooks. These are our um, fictional picture books. We've got nonfiction books. We've got some easy reader chapter books. There's also some videos and um, some puzzles and games and other fun things that the kids can do on this site also. Now, the way that you search for your books, if you know or have in mind the title of the book that you're looking for, you just click up here in the Tumble search and you can type it in, or you can click on any of these categories, like storybooks, and all of the books that are in the Tumble Book Library are up here organized in ABC order by title. So you can browse by title, so let's click here on P, you can browse all of the titles that begin with P, and you can see that the setup for um, navigating these books is really, really child friendly. So you can see that to read, you just click on this green read online button and it'll automatically load the book and begin narrating. So you wanna make sure that your um, volume is turned up on your speaker. So let's try it, we'll click read online. There's our tumble book player that will load our book. And again, our volume needs to be turned up so that we can hear our story. Here is the book Pigs by Bob. Much. Megan's father asked her to feed the pigs on her way to school. He said, Megan, please feed the pigs, but don't open the gate. Pigs are smarter than you think. Don't open the gate. So you can see that with Tumble Books, the um, kids can follow along. It highlights the text as the words are being read. Um, and the authors a lot of times read with a lot of expression. This is actually Robert Munch reading his book. Um, so the kids get a great modeling of um, fluency in reading as well. Now to close our book, you can see that we can pause it. To leave the book entirely, we're going to click up here on the red X. This will bring us right back here to the Tumble Book Library. And you can see that with every title over here at the side, there are related activities that the kids can do. There's information about a quiz they can take to see if they were paying attention. There's lesson plans for how to incorporate this into your curriculum. Um, there's some of the games that go along. So if we click there, you can see that this story has um, some games associated with it. This is a word catch game um, and some of the other ones that they can do also. Now to go back home, we'll click up here on our home page. You can see that Tumble Books also has some Common Core connections. So you can click here on the Common Core link. It'll give us some standards for um, reading and literature, some standards for reading informational text. So you can explore those as well. Um, but basically, this is just a great site to expose kids to a different kind of reading and reading here in an online format. So it's something they can do at home for summer reading. It's something you could use on your Eno boards in the classroom um, at the end of the day if you've got a couple extra minutes, because most of these stories are um, very brief. So they don't take too long um, to listen to an entire book.